Hi, my name is Carlos Davis. Welcome to Gateway RV. Today I'll be showing you guys a 2005 Airstream Classic. Uh, right off the bat, you can notice uh, this unit has a full-length awning. Uh, this unit is about 30 foot, so that awning is going to be a little bit shy of that. We'll start right here at the front. I want to point out this hard-covered propane tank cover. Uh, also, it has the super jack power jack. We'll be around this side here. There's your rock guards there. You can see, you can notice that there are a few dings there, but that more or less protects the actual surface of the trailer. And those also swing out. You can see that there's hinges there uh, that'll swing that trailer out. And also on this front side, you have these nice tinted shades that go up just so you can get a better view outside or let a little bit more sun in. This is a really nice unit. Airstream Classic. Now if this unit could talk, it would most definitely say, I am quality. Uh, I really like the way this is put together, uh, inside and out. Uh, Here's that awning from the rear. View that. Sorry about the traffic. Let's take a look at these tires here. These are Alcoa rims. And this trailer sits on 15 inch tires. And they're in excellent condition as well. Lots of tread still on them, no weathering. Move you to the inside here. I want to show you the quality and the detail that they put on this. There's the Airstream logo there on the inside of the door. There's the classic on this side. I like how those go together when you open that door. Uh, moving right on inside. Uh, as soon as you step inside, you notice that there's a lot of light here. You can check out this huge sunroof there. And it also has a shade, just in case that is too much sun for you. You can close that up. this way. I'll back up a bit so you can view this couch. Uh, very large couch to the front of the trailer with overhead storage. Uh, now this couch also you can you notice there's a knob here. You pull that out and there's a nice size drawer there for clothes or even shoes or what have you. And there's your fuse box and your battery uh, shut off. And that couch does fold into a bed so you can sleep too there. Also, you have a table here. It has legs there. You should just lift up. And there you go. You have a nice table there. Now, as well as on the other side, there's a table here that folds out. And it pretty much comes clear more than halfway. Uh, length of the couch. So lots of dining space there while you sit comfortably on the couch you can eat your food. Really quick just to give you a view of the floor plan from the front of the trailer. Oh here to the right there's some cabinet space there. Now these do have the day and night shades. You can see those. And it also has the upper windows for more light. These windows do open. You can see the levers there to open the windows. I think that's really nice just to add more ventilation. Nice little counter spot here for your laptop computer. Uh, drawers there. Small deep com compartment there. And I really like this option here. You have a slide out uh, shelving cabinet that uh, you can store all your commodity items, uh, your cereal, things like that, and also you have the slide out drawers uh, for utensils, things of that such. Microwave, very clean on the inside, there's no burn marks, no scratches, no smells. Move you to the kitchen here, 
three burner stove with oven. As I said, this, this unit speaks quality. You can tell by the appliances. If you take a look at this, this oven, that's a nice looking oven. And as well as the fridge, which matches the oven. It's about a nine cubic foot fridge. And it as well doesn't have any food smells, no molding, no stains. Very well kept unit. Here's your nice dual basin sink, very large sink. Of course, it does have covers for that. Show you a cover here to cover that up, just to give you a bit more counter space when you're not using the sink. Lower storage space there. More overhead storage space. Moving back to the bedroom. And before I step into the bedroom, I want to show you these sliding doors. Just to give you some privacy, whether you be in the coach area or in the bedroom, you can have some added privacy. Now, uh, you know, I, I think that this particular floor plan is a his and hers floor plan. Uh, basically, because you have a, a large mirrored door here, and I'll, I'll open it just to show you how large it is. Uh, I believe that's cedar, that's actual cedar wood in the back of that closet. Uh, it smells so good. It's a rod there to hang your clothes. Now that's the larger closet. Now pair are opposed to that, right across from that, you have a smaller smaller storage here. And that'd be his storage. My wife normally takes up a lot of our closet space, so that's why I say it's a his and hers floor plan due to the larger closet on one side, the smaller on one on the other side. The woman normally takes a larger closet. Here's your bathroom area with toilet. Nice space for your counter on your bathroom countertops. Medicine cabinet there. Large medicine cabinet. Now also you have this nice vanity mirror. Uh, which is angled down towards you. It lifts up and you have more storage up there. Shampoo, shaving cream, razors, things of that such. We'll go to the shower. Nice size sit down shower. I like to sit down in the shower, spray myself off sometimes. Actually really nice if you had a fun day riding ATVs or hiking trails. It's nice to come and sit down and, and shower yourself off. Back towards the bedroom, just to give you an idea of the walk around space inside this bedroom. Let me zoom this camera down. Lots of walk around space. There's some Sony speakers there. There's four actually placed uh, throughout the trailer. There's one there, there's one there, and there's two up front. More cabinet space overhead here. For clothes, things like that. I really like this overhead storage here. Um, it's pretty large. You can fit extra blankets, pillows up there. There's another little a deep storage space here with a another uh, rod for hanging clothes. Bedside table with storage. You also have another privacy door here uh, for the bedroom. So you can either uh, close off the bathroom from the coach area or you can close the bedroom off from the bathroom. Either way. For more information or to come and view this particular unit, uh, please contact Carlos Davis at 1-888-835-0636, excuse me, or you can email me at carlos at gatewayrv1.com. 2005 Airstream, folks. Doesn't get any better than this. Give me a call.